Hey guys, Daniel Riccardi here. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is BTD and yes, I am back making another video, but this time it's going to be again on Formula One. So if you guys keep up to date with Formula One, you would know of a certain Australian known as Daniel Ricciardo. And today it came out with the fact that Daniel Ricciardo was going to be leaving Red Bull Racing at the end of this year. Now, it was then later confirmed by Red Bull Racing that he would be leaving the team and they would be looking for a new driver to be partnering up. Uh, Max Verstappen in the Red Bull. Now we could be saying it could be Pierre Gasly seeing as he's in the Toro Rosso. Uh, it could be uh, Carlos Sainz if he then now Ricardo is taking Sainz's position. So I don't know at the minute. But yeah, Daniel Ricardo is now moving to Renault Sport F1 team. Now this is definitely something which is going to cause a bit of controversy, like a bit of a 50-50 type thing, seeing as Renault isn't really a top-ranking team, definitely compared to Red Bull. So, where's this going to go? So as a lot you probably know, Renault are a team where they have definitely fallen back down the grid scene. As you remember, like 2005, uh, 2004 I believe as well, with Fernando Alonso, um, sort of winning the championships with Renault, and since then, Red Bull took their engines, they were winning four titles back to back to back to back, and now they've sort of just fallen back Renault as a whole team, and so ever since this hybrid era, uh, that's for sure, and I'm sort of just thinking to myself, R Ricardo going from Red Bull, which is a top ranked team, which can win races, which we've seen this year, going down to a team where finishing in the top 10 was a good thing, I don't really know what's going to happen with that. Now, as you guys know, Ricardo and Hulkenberg have actually have a really good teammate uh, relationship. So hopefully they'll be able to work together, sort of build the car up maybe for definitely when the 2021 regs come in. But Ricardo has signed a two year deal, which would leave him to be open at the start of the 2021 new regulations from Ross Braun and all of Liberty Media. So he's definitely keeping his options open, sort of like Hamilton and I believe Vettel. Verstappen and all those lot are doing so then if like you see a better team you can sort of say hey I want to race for you guys and potentially win championships but like Ricardo said he doesn't want to be in Formula 1 when he's in his 30s so this could be a real issue for Ricardo going into the next two years of sort of car crashing his career but you know what I don't know what's going to happen with Renault next year you could see them at the front they might be making significant changes so we might be seeing something definitely something big coming from Renault but yeah let me know guys down in the comments if you definitely watch Formula 1 uh, what you guys think of this and how Ricardo is going to fare well at Red Bull because it's definitely going to be something which we will have to look out for and see if he can progress in the Renault but me personally from this like looking into Formula 1 right this moment I don't think it was a good switch but then the Ricardo and the Verstappen relationship, as Arava uh, said in his video, is it's not very well. It's definitely not very well, especially Ricardo with Red Bull. Now that relationship is extremely toxic. So let's see what that you can do next year. But guys, it's just a little uh, update video. I hopefully will be making more videos soon. I know I keep saying that, and I go away for like five months or however long it's been, but. I'll get the motivation to come back with more videos, uh, gaming videos as well, as well as news videos and things like this, as things I want to cover on my channel. But yeah, I think that's all I had to cover, guys. So yeah, until the next video, uh, leave a like, subscribe, um, comment if you're still around, because I know I've lost a lot of audience since I haven't been uploading and live streaming as much. But yeah, we'll be back soon. Uh, hopefully when 20, when 20, when F1 2017, 18, 18 is 2018 now, isn't it? Uh, comes out, I'll be definitely live streaming that as well as maybe Forza Horizon, if I do get that. I'm not too sure at the minute, but yeah, that's things to come. Uh, Daniel Ricciardo moving to Renault is the main breaking news on my channel so far. And yeah, that's it, guys. Until the next video, guys, I'll see you guys then. But until then, I'll see you guys then. I say then a lot. <laughs> Peace.